Hey everybody, Mitch Petrie here with the Country Outdoors podcast. I am here with our new best friend, CJ Solar. CJ, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Yeah, dude. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> we are super excited because we have uh, you and your interview for season two of the Country Outdoors podcast available now on countryoutdoors.com or outdoorchannel.com or anywhere and everywhere you get your podcast, including Spotify and Stitcher and Apple, wherever. I don't know where you get yours, CJ, but um, excited to share uh, the interview that we had with you, which seems like a long time ago. It was last November in Nashville. You remember that? I do remember. Yeah, dude, I had a blast. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it does feel like a long time ago at this point. <laughs> it's fun because that's the first time I'd ever met you personally. And, and it's as we meet an artist, it's it's cool to watch him and, and to pay attention. And I've seen, I know Mary was able to catch up with you and has, has seen you at a show or two since then, back when everybody was still doing shows. Uh, and it's it's been pretty exciting. It seems like you've got some momentum building with your music. Yeah, man, it's been really exciting putting new stuff out uh, before all this stuff happened. We had a lot of cool shows going on, so excited to, uh, you know, get back on the road once everybody's good and healthy and uh, we can make that happen. Yeah, are you doing some writing or other things just to pass your time? Yeah, I'm, I've had a lot of my co-writes cancel just because people are having to take care of their kids or do whatever with school being out, and, um, but I got a couple buddies that I'm, you know, that I'm really you know close with that we're still writing a little bit and working on some demos in the studio a little bit trying to not be around each other too much but uh trying i'm gonna maybe try some some internet writing i don't know <laughs> i've tried in the past with people that didn't live in nashville and it always just kind of felt like a pain um just you know, playing and getting the ideas across and stuff, not actually being in the same room, but how about you, how about you, after this interview, we'll just sit down and we'll do a little co-write. We'll just, we'll just do it right here. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> I need some, something to break up the, uh, the call of duty uh, that I play. You that most I of the work because I don't have those skills, but I'm looking at your hat too. So Bayou Boars, and it's fun because we do talk about in your podcast, talk a lot about your boar hunting and that but uh, I, I've also seen in your your studio there some uh, purple and gold I'm from Minneapolis so purple and gold for us is obviously the Minnesota Vikings but you're a you're a uh, LSU yeah, fan. The, the LSU fan which uh, uh, every, everybody got to uh, see a little bit of LSU this year with them uh, winning the national championship which was pretty cool but yeah I grew up you know growing up in Baton Rouge it was kind of like um, if you weren't an LSU fan, you know, what were you even doing with your life? So <laughs> you kind of, uh, had no choice, but to be an LSU fan. Yeah. My story there is I, uh, uh, I'm from Minnesota, so we don't have a big football rivalry right now, other than the fact that we beat Auburn this year in a bowl game, which is crazy at the university of Minnesota. But I was at a trade show in Alabama, um, in Birmingham, Alabama, and there was a vendor there who sold Ye Yeti coolers. And he, you know, and Yeti coolers are like 350 bucks a piece. And he had this purple and gold uh, yellow cooler that was an LSU cooler that nobody in Alabama wanted, surprisingly, because uh, it was not uh, like blue and orange or red and white, I think are the only two official colors mm -hmm. in that state. So I paid like 150 bucks. I bought that cooler, brought it home and bought a Minnesota Vikings sticker and laid it on it. But it was meant to be an LSU uh, uh, cooler from That's Yeti. Right. But I turned it into a Minnesota Vikings cooler, and it's funny. I've taken it to Vikings tailgates, and I've had people offer me three hundred bucks for it. I should probably sell it. It looks like pretty. Looks pretty cool. Well, I mean, at that point, you'd have to buy you another cooler later, so. <laughs> you'd end up having yeah. to spend the 300 bucks again to get one that's not even painted all cool. Maybe 500, 500. I'll let it slide. So that's how I that's you that's have that. your guitar there, uh, CJ. You have anything you want to play for our fans here before we? Yeah, look? man, I, I could play. Uh, my my latest song that I put out that uh, that we te that we teased was going to be coming out in the interview is actually out now. Uh, it's called Water Down Whiskey, and uh, I, lo I love getting to play it. So I might play that one if that's cool. Awesome, love to hear it. Okay. Am I good now? Gas in this glass seems to melt way too fast these nights. 
Yeah, the birds never less and I'm still chasing what I had I can't find Cause you know when it's good and you know when it's cheap But I'll take what I can get when I can't get what I need Darling, loving you was like drinking the good stuff. And when you had the best, the best day is strong enough. Try to move on, but every nice calling hits me. Everything to you is watered down whiskey. Yeah, it every spot in town. Shut all the bars down and find love. I get lost in the perfume, leaving no shame in something. When the morning light comes, she takes me back to my truck. And I think to myself, how long can I keep this up? Darling, loving you was like drinking the good stuff. And when you had the best, the rest ain't strong enough. Try to move on, but every last call it hits me. Everything to you. It's down the biscuit. Cause you know when it's good, you know when it's cheap. But I take what I can get, and I can't get what I need. Darling, loving you was like drinking the good stuff. And when you had the best, the rest ain't strong enough. Try to move on, but every last calling hits me. Everything to you is watered down whiskey. That was fantastic. I got goosebumps, man. I can't believe that. That was so cool. Congratulations on that. Check it out on Spotify, right? I think uh, the, the mastered version probably sounds a little bit better than our uh, little uh, uh, remote video, but that was still pretty cool. I think fans get to uh, really hear the, the power in your voice and, and obviously the look, the beard is pretty killer, but uh, I I'm super excited. Way down last night. I don't like to go much shorter than this, but uh, it was it was like, <laughs> way longer and I was like I gotta get rid of this I'm gonna feel like I'm really a hermit <laughs> awesome CJ Solar thank you so much for joining us here on this Monday we're excited to have your podcast released today everybody check it out get to know CJ if you don't know him yet you're gonna know him soon he's the real deal he's a big friend of the Country Outdoors podcast so CJ thanks you have a great day thanks for having me <laughs>